Alright, my name is Laser Crawford. What sport do you do? Bottle flip. problems. I first met Laser Crawford working with him on a project for the YouTuber Nigel Alexander. The project was an episode for one of his web series. The web series highlighted some of the top up and coming talent in skateboarding. What's your name? Laser Crawford. How old are you? 10 years old. Who are your sponsors? Vans, Stance Socks, Bones Wheels, independent trucks, and his toy skateboards. Every day we shot together, he continued to impress me more. At 10 years old, this kid was more mature and passionate about skateboarding than anyone I had ever met before. I got it, yes! What's up? What's up? Oh, I feel so, I feel so happy. I feel so relieved. Dude, that was sick. One of the most interesting parts of filming with him is whenever we go out to new skate parks or if I'm telling someone else about Laser, the first question everyone has is, is Laser his real name? And yeah, it is. No one ever wants to believe that his actual name is Laser. Me and my wife came up with the name Laser out of the Bible. Uh, we kind of shortened it from Lazarus. And uh, then we had a baby shower. We had a bunch of names picked out. I did like Turbo and Rain and all these crazy cool names I thought would be cool. And people had to write down what name they thought and they put it in a box. And then uh, at the end of the baby shower, we kind of had a shirt uh, that was made and it said like, name our baby. And after everyone did it, at the end of the baby shower, we're like, okay, and we shook up the box and I forgot. And I was standing there like this and uh, with the black magic marker and he reached in and it was like, <laughs> That's his name. I still got the shirt sitting at home, man. Mike radiates with a passion for skateboarding. While helping his son achieve his goals of becoming a professional skateboarder, Mike even gets to live out his own dream of running an indoor skate park that doubles as a personal training facility for laser. The motivation behind building 91 West Skate Park is it's always been a dream of mine uh, even before um, I had kids. It gives my son uh, laser a place to come, a place to skate, um, it, where I can kind of help, you know, help guide him through uh, through his training and through his tricks. Even though Laser has a natural gift for skateboarding, skating at his level doesn't come without hard work. He usually wakes up about eight o'clock in the morning, gets a little bite to eat, and then he does online school. And he likes to do about, it's about three hours a day that he does Monday through Thursday, three, three and a half hours a day. And then, uh, he shows up at the skate park and he warms up for an hour from 12 to 1 and uh, does a lot of flat ground tricks, mini ramp tricks and stuff. And then he skates with uh, Coach Jeremy from 1 to 4. Uh, Monday through Friday they do kind of an intensive training three hours a day and there's like a, a set of regiment of uh, different skills, different tricks that they have to go over. And then he usually eats around four, gets a nice little snack for about 15 minutes, and then goes back at it for 45 minutes on really tricks that he wants to learn. Then he eats dinner at five, and then uh, he goes to, uh, he gets to open skate and have fun and do what he wants till about six. And then he has a class from six to eight with a different coach that uh, his friends are in. So he gets to play and skate and have fun and be creative and do all that kind of fun stuff. So he's pretty much, and then we get, and then he skates here till nine. So he skates the extra hour, which is his buddies having fun. So pretty much 12 to nine, Monday through Friday at the skate park, Friday mornings. Since he doesn't have school, he likes to go to outdoor parks. And then Saturdays and Sundays, he likes to go street skating with his friends. Street skating is essential for almost all skateboarders in today's industry. Simply explained, street skating is the art of taking the world around you and making it into a skate park. While this is an art practiced by many skateboarders, the rest of the world views some of these stunts as just dangerous and illegal. But that doesn't even come close to stopping laser. In fact, it's one of his favorite parts of skateboarding. Laser may be putting himself at risk, but absolutely nothing can keep him off his board. And his family supports that passion 100%. Brush his shoulders off, act like it never happened, and go do Laser Crawford, baby. 
It's almost a necessity for Laser to have all the support he gets from his friends and family because the injuries that come with skating can be pretty brutal. How many times have I broken a bone? Probably, oh yeah, I've broken this one, my right arm, elbow, nine times, and I've broken my finger once, so ten. I can't stop skating after that, even with the cast, I just keep skating. And it just really pushes me harder to get back after an injury. Laser's need to push his skating and the support he has gotten from his family has resulted in him being one of the younger competitors in Tampa Am, a high level amateur skate contest for 200 of some of the top amateur skateboarders in the world. It's very nice there, everybody's just having a great time skating, shredding, just really good vibes everywhere. The typical age in Tampa Am is probably like 18 to 22. And you're an 11 year old just out there shredding yep. it up with him. Yeah. While Laser may be one of the younger competitors on the course, he's definitely not one to be overlooked. He's constantly impressing judges with his talent. Laser is 11 years old. Uh, Laser A trip to Tampa Am is wild enough on its own, but Laser got a bit of an extra adrenaline rush when the organizers of the Tampa Am offered to send him and his dad on a canoe trip through the swamps of Florida. In the water. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> Needless to say, Laser lives a life a little more wild than most 11 year olds, but doing online school and spending so much time traveling makes it easy to wonder if Laser ever gets lonely. And that probably is the case for many other child prodigies, but it's different with skateboarding because the community behind the sport is one giant family. At Laser's 11th birthday, he had young kids to full-blown adults, all of who were there to celebrate Laser. Laser has so much talent and love for skateboarding. If he keeps this up, he'll be known much farther outside the skate world. But for now, Laser's just gonna keep doing what he's doing and enjoy every second on his board. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.